Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to just do a grocery haul vlog as I go to Aldi's. I saw online that they had some of their fall stuff, so I figured I would take you with me. It is Labor Day Monday. It is very, very rainy in upstate New York. We came home from camping a day early because it's raining so hard. So I figured let's make this a productive day and I'll bring you guys along with me to show you what they have for this week. All right, I wanted to do an outfit of the day before I go to run errands. So these cute little cropped khaki, or I guess you could say cargo pants, are from Target. I got mine in a size 4. They're the perfect length. I am 5'6 for reference. They have cute little pockets on the back, and I love them. I can even wear these to work on casual days. I really want to get more colors. This little um, gray t-shirt is from Philosophy, but they also care, carry a lot of Philosophy at TJ Maxx, so I definitely recommend looking there. And then I'm just going to put on my H&M sneakers that I got last fall to go with this outfit. So other than that, I figured I'm going to be productive on this rainy day. I'm not going to sit home. I've already watched four episodes of One Tree Hill, re-watching the entire thing. So I need to go out, get some air, and I'll take you guys with me to all these. <music> Okay, here is the Aldi's haul. Some of it is fall related and some of it is just regular. So the first thing I got are these bagel skinnies, this eight pre-sliced bagels. I really like these with, I can't believe it's not butter in the morning with an egg. I also got some whole wheat and flax oat bran. This pita bread is really good if you make as well breakfast wraps or you wanna do like chicken or turkey with your lunch. I really like these. I did get some salmon because we're gonna do some air fryer salmon this week. I'm excited to try that to make like a little poke bowl. Fresh peeled garlic just to put with the dinners. I feel like this is so convenient and easy. I've never actually seen this before at all these, so I was happy to come across this. We're gonna do burgers in our lunches this week. We really, really like grilling burgers with cheese and then eating them over lettuce. It's super easy to grab on the go. Chicken thighs this week, I really like these with lots and lots and lots of seasoning, slow cooked in a pan with olive oil. And then we're gonna do this butternut squash risotto that I found that is a fall um, limited edition at Aldi's. They also had a pumpkin one, but I figured I would do the butternut squash. I ended up getting a really big thing of ground beef because I'm gonna make chili today. So I just got the 80% lean. LaCroix uh, Key Lime Sparkling uh, Seltzer Water. This is really good. Probably one of my favorite flavors. I also got this sparkling fresh apple cider that I'm going to make in a, like a little mimosa. I will show you guys after this. Cookie butter. I was influenced um, by my cousin's wife on Instagram. She has an awesome food page. And this is just cookie butter dessert hummus that I got to pair with these salted caramel wafers. So these little rolls, I figured we would try that as a snack tonight. Kidney beans and diced red tomato for the chili, as well as these green chilies. This is my favorite combination to put in there. Milk, just because I ended up getting some pumpkin spice cookies. We don't drink a lot of milk, but when we do, it's usually 1%, so I just got those to pair together. I'm going to do broccoli with the salmon bowls. I figured this was just a good side, and I already have the avocado, so I didn't have to buy that. And then some brown rice as well to just make really fast with the salmon bowl. Pumpkin butter, I figured I could also put this on the bagels. This looks so good and I hope it's like the Trader Joe's one. And then also for a snack, I got this pumpkin cheesecake caramel corn. I've never seen this before. I'm super excited. You get the theme. I definitely was able to find a lot of the fall stuff. And then last but not least, I picked up this fall candle. This is in the scent Toasted Pumpkin Marshmallow. These are under five bucks, I'm sorry, six bucks, and it smells amazing. I also like how the wick is like this. I have another one that's like that over here. And I think it burns way nicer than the three wicks. So here is my little haul, but I wanna show you guys now how I'm gonna make this apple cider fall mimosa. Okay, so apple cider mimosa. I'm gonna use my favorite Prosecco. I have some little bottles left over. And then I found this sparkling fresh apple cider juice at Aldi's. I think it was like five bucks for four of these. I would have preferred the gallon, but they didn't have any. So we're gonna try these mini bottles. So 
just take your two glasses and we are first actually going to rim these in cinnamon sugar. Take some honey and put it on this plate. We were gonna do water, but we figured screw it. We'll just do honey. And then I'm gonna take just regular ground cinnamon on this plate, like that. All right, pretty much you just wanna take the glass and put it in the honey and just cover the whole rim and then put it in the cinnamon to get it to stick. Just like that. So you have a nice coating. Now that we've got our glasses rimmed, I'm gonna take the Prosecco. These baby bottles are really convenient because you can typically finish them in a setting and you don't have to try to keep them fresh if you don't use the whole bottle. And they have the easiest twist off ever. So we're gonna put some of this in. We just took the uh, lid off of this apple cider. The only negative is it's not a twist off, so you have to make sure you have something to remove it. But then we're just gonna top it off with this apple cider. And again, let the bubbles go down, and then once it gets lower, just continue to fill it until you get to the top. Okay, so here is the final product. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna see how they are. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. I like it. If you don't like the rim too sweet, definitely don't do honey. You could just do water, but I think it's really good. The apple cider is pretty good. It's sparkling though, so it does taste a little different than if you just did the apple cider like at the apple orchard or the grocery store. But I think this adds more bubbles, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. All right, so I'm prepping the chili. I just browned all of this ground beef just to speed up the cook time because we're hoping to eat this tonight. I'm gonna be using the Trader Joe's Organic Chili Seasoning Blend, which I also put in the beef when I had it on the stove. I'm gonna do two cans of the dark red kidney beans that I just showed you guys in the haul. So I'm gonna do two things of diced tomatoes, and then lastly, the two things of the green chilies, and then let this sit hopefully for an hour, hour and a half, and I'm hoping it'll be ready to eat by dinner. All right, so we just finished the chili. I am serving it in these little mini cast irons that I got for Christmas. We haven't used these yet, so I'm excited. I'm realizing now that one has a chip in it. But these are gonna be cute. They're gonna hold the perfect amount. And then I did end up using almost an entire can of Bud Light in the chili just to give it some more liquid as well as taste. So we're super excited. I ended up putting this probably for about an hour and a half. And then we've got some Mexican shredded cheese on the side and sour cream.